Welcome to this English lesson where I will give you a film analysis of the movie Rabbit Proof Fence. The movie Rabbit Proof Fence is based on a true story. The movie was released in 2002 and is based on a novel by Doris Pilkington. The director is Philip Noyce. Some of the actors that you meet in this movie are Kenneth Branagh, Everlyn Sampy, and David Gulpilil. The other children, Daisy and Gracie, are played by Tiana Sansbury and Laura Monaghan. Setting. The year is 1931 and the story is set in the outback village of Jigalong in Western Australia. The girls, Molly, Gracie and Daisy, are taken away from their families and are forced to live in an official government camp at Moore River. Let us turn to the plot. Before I give you a plot summary, let us watch a scene from the movie that summarizes the main conflict. This way, Tommy. Yep. Come on. Stand up straight. Oh, 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 oh. What are they doing now? They're checking for the bear ones. Why? This is the true story of Molly Craig, a young black Australian girl who leads her younger sister and cousin in an escape from an official government camp, set up as part of an official government policy to train them as domestic workers and integrate them into white society. With grit and determination, Molly guides the girls on an epic journey one step ahead of the authorities, over 1,500 miles of Australia's outback in search of the rabbit-proof fence that bisects the continent and will lead them home. These three girls are part of what is referred to today as the Stolen Generation. Let us briefly talk about the title. Rabbit-proof fence refers to an actual fence which is put up in order to avoid rabbits to spread. This fence and the title has a strong symbolic meaning. It is built by whites and a fence gives you associations to exclusion and separation. Now let me briefly talk about the main characters. Neville is in charge of keeping surveillance with all the Aborigines in Western Australia. He sees nothing wrong with the white man's politics of taking the children away from their families and forcing them to give up on their own heritage. Mr. Neville symbolizes imperialist thinking. Whites are superior and God's chosen people. We also meet the skilled tracker Moodoo, who together with the police under the command of Neville chase the girls. Fourteen-year-old Molly is the eldest of the three girls. Molly is a leader, a strong individual. She has courage, strength, guts and determination. After just one day at Moore River, she manages to escape together with Gracie and Daisy. Molly has decided that they have to walk the long way home. The journey will take three months and thousands of kilometers. The authorities are chasing them. However, the love for their heritage and family give the girls the energy to continue the dangerous escape. When you are asked to do a film analysis, you also need to study the filming techniques. How do the director and the cinematographer choose to create suspense and atmosphere? What about camera angles and close-ups? And is there anything that is particularly interesting in the cinematography, meaning the art of motion picture photography? Let us study a few scenes from the movie.
In Rabbit Proof Fence, the director creates suspense through Aboriginal music and giving the viewer a sensation of heat. When it comes to camera angles, we see the walk-in camera in order to show Marley's fear. The low angle of the camera creates dominance and character superiority. And the filming down, having a high angle on the camera, makes the character fragile and subdued. There are also close-ups of feet and face and eyes. And the cinematography includes beautiful compositions of the landscape. In this movie, there are three themes. One, the stolen generation. Two, the suffering of natives. And three, individual strength, courage and determination.